raise your hand if you have done meditation before. Wow, great, most of you. I like meditation, and I believe one of the best things we can do to improve our life is to meditate regularly. Studies have shown meditation can help us reduce stress, improve our sleep, memory, attention, and many other things. But I consider those are only the side effect of meditation. The true magic of meditation is in the awareness that we become familiar with and recognize through meditation practice. Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, and welcome guests. You may all have some experience and knowledge about meditation, but to make sure that we all have the same understanding. So first, let's define what meditation is. To meditate is to be with our awareness. It doesn't matter what type of mindfulness uh, meditation you do, as long as you have awareness, you're in the present moment, that's meditation. So meditation is all about awareness. So what is awareness? Let me explain it with a story. One morning, two young fish swim happily in the ocean. <laughs> and then there comes an old fish. And the old fish says, hey boys, how's the water? Is that wonderful? The two young fish looks at each other, confused, and says, what is water? Well, awareness is just like the water. We are living in the awareness. We know what we see, hear, think, because we have awareness. Awareness is the ability to know what we, what's happening around and how we feel at the present moment. Do you think you have awareness? Yes, we all do. <laughs> but the problem is, normally we don't recognize our awareness. So what's so special about awareness? Awareness has two unique qualities. First, awareness is always in the present moment. And being in the present moment has many benefits for us. And one of the benefits is that we are less likely to be engaged in unhappy thoughts, emotions. And so in 2010, Harvard University psychologist, Dr. Matthew Killingworth and Dr. Daniel Gilbert published a research titled, A Wandering Mind is an Unhappy Mind. In their research, they found people spend nearly 50% of their waking hours thinking about something other than what they are doing. And this type of mind wandering typically also makes them unhappy. And this actually happens to all of us. The problem is, most of the time, most of us don't even know we are wandering off. It's like we get lost, but we don't know we get lost. We're just blindly following our wandering mind, go somewhere else. So meditation actually can change that because meditation is the opposite of mind wandering. When we meditate, we repeatedly bring our wandering mind back to the present moment. And that will help us break the habitual thinking pattern that often is the root cause of a lot of our unhappy and negative thoughts and emotions. So being in the present moment is the first quality of awareness. 
The second quality of awareness is that awareness is completely non-judgmental. Awareness is simply aware of what's happening, but it doesn't attach to or hold on to anything. What does this mean? Let's assume that we have a big mirror on this wall. Now, when I walk in front of the mirror, I can see myself, hmm, I look pretty good today. But when I walk away from the mirror, the image of me in the mirror disappears. The mirror only reflects what appears, but it doesn't judge, doesn't hold on to anything. Our awareness is just like the mirror. Whatever appears, it awares it, but it doesn't make a judgment whether it's good or bad, beautiful or ugly. It doesn't do that. In other words, awareness is free from judgment, free from thoughts and emotions. When we make progress in our meditation, gradually, our mind will become just like the mirror. Whatever appears, even the strong negative thoughts and emotions, they are merely just reflections in the awareness. And they lose power to push us around. And gradually, we become truly free. And that is the true magic of meditation. In summary, the essence of meditation is in the awareness. To meditate is to bring our mind home, to be with the awareness, to experience the sense of calm, clarity, and freedom. And that's why we should all meditate regularly. Madam Toastmaster.